All right. So I got 61 off stream, 242 AP, 273 DP. And I just need to continue to get full pen for today. I guess that's the plan here. Another 5,000 polyphorus mobs, though. No one actually have polyphorus. No, I'll come back here later. I'm actually going to start doing a regional quest. I'll finish the 5,000 later. I'm going to start with... Let's see, what do we have? Mansion Forest and Forest Renaros. Start with Mansion. I don't have my old Moonbook anymore. I'll use this one. Oh, so I the Red Battlefield quest that I forgot to take. Now we have someone here. Actually, oh, she's not flagged though. What's up, Valkyrie? Am I happy? <laughs> what do you mean? About the new year? About the game? About the rework? Oh, is this checking? I mean, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. How about you? Standard? Yeah, pretty much the same for me. I guess can't really get the. Uh, it's nothing really to be too excited about this year, I guess, but. Can't really complain either. Hope I'm always good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Same to you as well.
Well, for now, I'm just going to be trying to finish up all the regional quests. And maybe if there's anyone who wants to PvP along the way, I will just kill them. And then ideally after that, I'll try and move to a spot with more people to kill. How's my seasonal gear at the moment? It's at uh, 242 AP, 273 DP. I'm not too worried about the DP part. But I do want to at least get pen accessories. So I can make sure I can kill everyone. Although it's obviously going to be easier to get the DP up before I get the AP up. I'm probably a bit late to the party when it comes to seasonal. I would imagine most people are already full pin and aren't really grinding these spots anymore. But I'll see what I get, I guess. At least with this AP, I can actually like kill people who are trying to play in these spots. Whereas before, the first two days, I couldn't even like fight Polyphorus players. And I'm pretty confident if anyone tries to uh, contest me, I'll be just fine. But I heard all the good PvP is at Sulphur. So before I move there, I want to get pen on the accessories. I feel like the warrior and wizard both just left. Suffer will be crowded in season now. Although I haven't really seen any kill messages saying people are dying in the desert yet. Oh, never mind. The warrior is here. Wait, how did he get CC'd by that? Oh, half of it is not in the desert. That explains it. I thought it was fully in the desert. Oh, the last time I did season, it only lasted for about three weeks. I'm kind of hoping that maybe it will be longer than three weeks this time. Especially since um, this season is together with uh, Christmas and New Year's, so I'm not really getting to play as much. Just been spending time with family instead. Whereas the first season I did, I pretty much uh, played every day. So it'd be disappointing if it doesn't last as long. Okay, this time I didn't do any uh, as much damage because I fucked up my combo.
Damn, assist him. I feel like I'm trolling that guy. By going around the full circle. <laughs> Instead of doing natural rotation. I was trying to see if there's anyone else here. But then again, he is on Arsha, so... Assume this is what he signed up for. <laughs> That's two Arsha players. Yeah, see... If I'm on Arsha, I want people to attack me. If they don't attack me, then... It just feels weird. I think he actually just ran away. Oh, he's here. Oh, that time... Hmm. What? Wait, what's happening? Oh, fuck. Wait. What? I thought my... Hmm, that's weird. I was sure... I aimed my grab correctly. I noticed they buffed the uh, Shadows Stomp cancel to work for Heart Stab as well, but not for Malice. Normally, I actually like to do Malice after I do Heart Stab, but maybe I should be Malicing first now because of the changes, I don't know. Cyberbullying him. <laughs> it builds character, I feel like. I feel like that's the main reason to come on our show. If you just want a peaceful 1v1, you can just do Battle Arena. I feel like he switched to this rotation. Oh, I guess I'll kill the Poacher. Wait, what? Can I not kill the poacher? The fuck? Ah, there's another... There's another rotation out here, I think. I wonder if anyone's around. Other than the warrior. Wait, that's not the way. This is the way.
Nice. CC'd by mob. Oh, it looks like no one is here anymore. So after this, I guess I'll move to Renaros. Just need another 250 kills. Oh, wait, he's here. The fuck? Okay. Yeah, see, that's why I do... That's why I prefer to do Malice first. I also only get one CC that time. Wait, what? Am I too slow? I see someone. Deal with him first and finish off the warrior. Not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I can one combo him if I don't fuck up somehow. This wizard doesn't seem very threatening though. Wait, why did that not second CC? Do one of these hits like... Oh, this doesn't CC. Down attack? No. None of these down smashes. That's weird. I wonder why that combo doesn't CC sometimes. Although I probably should level up this. Because I actually use that skill now. I see that the warrior is back. That time is CC'd. I feel like that combo doesn't actually do any damage though. Well, let's I'll try and level up uh sudden D camp to max and see if that helps. But I feel like a full charge. On drastic does way more damage than that combo right now. And at least on seasonal, Serpent is still fine, I feel like. Don't really notice a damage nerf.
But I also have no AP, so... I guess that's pretty much to be expected that I don't do as much damage. So maybe that's why. This wizard is the one who's really getting bullied. Awakening wizard against the warrior and the ninja. Did they even buff Awakening Wizard to be better at 1v1? I think they buffed the Awakening Wizard to do something, but I don't remember what it was. I don't know. Oh well. That's okay. I just remember reading in the patch notes that um I saw like there they did like an animation for a Whipping Wizard and it looks quite a bit different. But I don't remember if that was like a buff or what that was about. Oh he slowed me. Well, that doesn't work. I wanted to bait him. By silent charging when he tries to grab, but that didn't work at all. He ran off to somewhere because he didn't kill any of these mobs, which is kind of weird. behind me or is that the wizard hmm Well, I'm almost done here. I don't see the warrior. Maybe I won't get to kill him before I leave. So next up is Ronaros. Spare the wizard, but KOS the warrior. I want I like I like killing people who fights back. The wizard isn't even flagged. <laughs> That, you see. If he's not flagged, that means he's, like, not even able to attack me, unless I attack him first. Which is just an unfair advantage. Because once I'm already in range to attack the wizard, I feel like... When I get the first hit on him, he's already kind of screwed. So if he doesn't even get to hit me before I do that, then... Harley called out a fight.
But also because he's a Awakening Wizard. Like, I, I don't know if they buffed Awakening Wizard or not. Succession Wizard used to be the better 1v1 class compared to Awakening. I don't know if that's changed. Awakening Wizard used to just be like pure group PK class and that's it. I've only ever seen them, uh, their plays to be to uh, make use of their pets to try and CC someone before they die while they're CC. It's like a counterplay. But I don't see really a lot of Whitney Wizard getting the first CC on people. Suck Wizard is not good anymore. I remember they nerfed like one of their super armor. But other than that, I'm not sure either. I know that I saw a horse here, so there has to be someone here. I don't really know what classes are considered meta now. Long was pretty good last season. But I haven't really seen that many this season yet. They did nerf the grab cooldown, I guess, but... I don't know if that was enough to make people stop playing it. Musa is supposedly pretty strong, but... If it's just, I don't know if they like actually made them stronger in terms of catching people or if it's just purely based on their damage. If it's purely based on damage, then I suppose they wouldn't really show it too well in six, on season servers. And plus ninjas don't take damage anyways. Nova, I guess? <clears throat> Nova has always been kind of strong. But maybe that's not the meta class that people would play for, like, large scale. Need to find more classes. I'm definitely seeing a lot of warriors this season, though. That's for sure. It seems like warriors they got like more slows or something. But other than that, I don't know. Hey, what's up, man? And I heard um. Striker is also apparently considered pretty strong now, but I don't really know if it's like just stronger in large scale, if it's stronger in everything, or PvE only. Warriors got the most buff. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. It's hard for me to tell what exactly they buffed when there are so few warriors that play the game in general. So I think a lot of the uh, people on season probably aren't warrior mains. And wouldn't be able to demonstrate the full extent of their buffs.
but so far, other than the fact that they, like, just permanently, perma slow you, like, guardians now, I guess. I don't, I don't know what else they changed. Because I'm not seeing it yet. But I wouldn't. But honestly, I feel like per much slow on Warrior is incredible, though. Like Warrior is such a fast class that if you just slow your opponent, I don't know what they can do against you. Fuck, that looked like a ranger, but it's just the fucking Renaros. Where's the other guy here? He literally had a horse. Don't you go deeper? You can't believe they may strike grab 15 seconds, but you have like so many grabs. It's not even a problem. What do you mean? It's just one, the other doesn't count. What? A grab's a grab. What do you mean it doesn't count? It's slow and not protected? Well, it doesn't need to be protected if you're doing 1v1s. If you grab them, they can CC you. And in large scale, you got um you got other buffs that you don't need to grab people in large scale anymore. Exactly. It's just use the DPS skill. Besides, grabbing people is like a death sentence in uh group PK anyways. Is this going to SA trade if you grab someone in group PK, I feel like? Unless you already outnumber them, then it's just the win harder button. It's by no means a grab class anymore? What do you mean? Every class got nerfed by 215 seconds. So every class is not a grab class anymore, if you consider that to be a nerf against a grab. Striker was known to be a grab class. I feel like if the class has a grab, then it's a grab class. Other than maybe Awakening Warrior, because they don't use their grab. Unless they're like... I don't know. Really good or something. But half the time it just fails. What do you mean, no? I mean, Ninja is a grab class. Warrior is a grab class. Berserker is a grab class. Hell, even Awakening Hash is a grab class. Lawn's a grab class. Guardian's a grab class, technically. And they all got nerfed. Actually, even Sage is a grab class. Hmm. What else? You know, Awakening Corsair Miss may be a grab class. I don't know. I, never, I haven't fought any Awakening Corsair. I 
Uh, well, those are classes, are there? There are so many classes in the game that has grabs. They're all grab classes. Mystic's a grab class. You never seen people complain about Sage and Warrior grab? What? What are you talking about? Sage grab is one of the number one things people complain about. And did you see how um, fucking McKenz, when he was fighting Nayashi, and even Nayashi complained about Warrior Grab, and he's top Musa. Or not Musa, Meowa. Was it Nayashi or was it someone else? I don't remember the accent. It was someone. It was definitely a well known Meowa. And to the point where McKenz had to literally lock his grab. And then he still won. But. That just goes to show that people complain about the grab. So it's just because you can win without a grab doesn't mean your class isn't known for its grabs. In that sense. I think a grab class is just a class that has a grab, not necessarily because you only have you depend on the grab in order to win. How did I fail? Not that you know of. There were so many sages and lawns last season. How did you not PvP against any of them? You were there. God damn. I guess you only join for the easy fights. And it's just uh, ditched all of the hard fights against sages and lawns. That's just grabbed you 24 7. Fuck, I forgot about Nova. Nova's a grab class too. All, every combo depends on grab, I guess. But if anything, that just means Striker is more balanced now. I think. So I think that's a good thing. Because back in the days, every class, pretty much, can kill outside of grabs. Grabs is just like, you know, a counterplay option. Ninja has two grabs, but Ninja never relies on their grabs. You know, like how Warrior, you know, like every class I listed already, they all have grabs. And it's all part of what makes them powerful, but none of them relies on it. So maybe Strikers were just underpowered. And now Strikers is finally balanced. Fuck, even Ranger is a grab class. Because I'm pretty sure any class where they had a grab that they use frequently is considered a grab class. Ranger doesn't grab after 300, 300 AP. Not if they're 1v1ing, though. Oh, actually, I guess against Striker they don't need to, because maybe Striker really was underpowered. But against, like, a Ninja, Succession and Ranger really just stands no chance. If you ask me.
Because you really can't DPS a ninja before they get to you. In a 1v1 situation, like maybe if it was group PK, then of course, but 1v1, I think there's no chance. No matter how much AP you have against an Awakening Ninja or something like that. So you definitely need to play Awakening Ranger and use your grab to beat them. But I know Striker has problems uh, gap closing, even against like Archer, so that's probably why. So I think Striker maybe was just an underpowered class this whole time. So now it's a good class now, you should play it. You always been telling me this? Nah, but that's because the whole appeal of Striker was that you can just go full Azula gear, get like 460 DP on seasonal server, and still have like 140 AP, but then you still one combo people with clones. That's what made Striker so OP though. You had to win by with your gear cheese, by gear cheesing people as a Striker, rather than with skills. Striker was a build-dependent class, so they were still OP in that sense. You don't believe me? Just ask people who fought Devios in the Tuvala tournament. Everyone complained that Devios had to, too much gear even though it was a Tuvala tournament and everyone had seasonal gear. All because they, he was cheesing with Azulas. I think I told you this already. Because they said it in the skirmish discord. Gear cheese is skill. Well, maybe that maybe that's the problem because you never gear cheesed. So you weren't able to unlock the true power of Striker. You had uh, you had like less gear than Wally, and he's a ranger, you know. Whereas Striker, you need to gear cheese more than what rangers do. If you were a ninja, then you could get away with no gear. Giving your opponent an advantage over you. No, they already have an advantage because it's uh they always 1v3 you in large scale, you know. Every time we try to PvP on Arsha, numbers is already an advantage. Remember, wait, didn't you fight Biohack that one time? On his archer? That's why you need to gear cheese. It's people, they already have enough of an advantage. And yeah, they already have enough of an advantage. That's the problem, you see. They don't need more advantage than that. Uh, 
I mean, 650, 605 GS is pretty much no gear. So. Can't blame them. Even 650 GS is no gear nowadays. How's Ninja rework? I don't know. I feel like they. None of these changes really make any sense. Like, they don't really make the class better. It's just different. Like, I mean, okay, I can I can use Drastic Measure now. But nobody would really ask for this. Like, it doesn't really make the class better by using it, I feel like. Um... Same with, like... Uh, mock explosion and also sudden decap. Like, I mean, sure, it's fine if we can use it, but I don't really see why, though. I mean, the class was doing just fine even without these changes. There's some quality of life changes, I suppose. Which is which I can't complain, but like how you can smoke screen off uh, off of Ghost Step now. But again, it's not the biggest deal. Um, being able to shadow stomp out of uh, fucking. Hard aiming, that's like, I mean, again, that's a quality of life change, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some new combos that really benefit from it, but I don't really see what the main benefit is. And then this change is just weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that change accomplishes. Because it's still an unprotected skill. I feel like maybe it's kind of like the pre-waking version of flashing light, but I don't know. But my main main complaint is that I feel like there's too many skills that don't have hockey now. Like before, pretty much every skill you used to be able to hockey, but now so many skills you can only use if you quick slot it. Like flashing light, you can only use it like whenever you want by quick slotting it. This skill is quick slot only now. Uh, there's still the third rebomb skill, which I don't even have yet. That's also quick slot. You can now um, swap for with murderous intent straight from pre awakening into awakening, but that's quick slot only. Like too many skills requires quick slot now, which I don't like. Like it's much neater if skills require key combinations. I feel like. Quick slot is like gets just as too many. Um, it's just too awkward. And plus, I can only hit up to like five anyway, so I can't even hit six and seven. I guess I'm done here though. So next place to go is. Um, Feather Wolves. Shift X. Yeah, I guess I could press Shift X for to free up like my two slot and my four slot, but Shift X and Shift Z are honestly equally difficult to press, if you ask me. Like, I need to start binding skills to my two mouse buttons now. And it gets gotten to that point. And I feel like that just really goes against how BD was supposed to be. It was so elegant before. How every skill was based on combinations of just like Q, E, F. 
Shift and WASD. But now it's so messy. I don't know, there's also apparently a cancel that I can, you can now do with Q block, but I don't actually know how you do it, so. It's kind of meme. And it doesn't really explain this either. Quick slot to shift stance only. Wait, what does this even mean? Oh, that's just like a hockey for C swap. And then, like, even flow execution is. Quick slot. I mean, I, I guess it's maybe worth it to use it off of uh, after Serpent. I never used that personally. Must be grinding a lot. I don't know, I literally just um, grind it to 60 and that's it. With 530% uh, scrolls. I don't know if that was considered a lot. You don't like quick slice during a combo? I don't know, it feels fine to me. Blade Spin has always been on Quick Slot, only forever. Blade Spin has never gotten the key. But it's, it's always feels fine to me, I think. Like, I don't know. You put you put your defense skills on quick slots. I don't know. I can I can hit one, two, three, four. Yeah, pretty well. This is fine. It's really like five and six. I can't really hit. And I, and I actually am completely fine with like my defensive skills being um, keybinds. They feel pretty natural to me. How do I play on SMO? I rebound the key. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Q, E, R. You just used one to eight? What? Were you left handed on SMO? How does that even work? How do you use number pad? How do you use your right hand to hit the number pad? What? I mean, left hand to use the number pad because your right hand is on the mouse and then the number pad is on the right side. So you have to use your left hand to hit the number pad. You're left handed? I guess it makes sense for you, but if you're right handed, then I don't know how you would use the number pad. Just don't hold your mouse and use WASD for camera? What? I have never heard of this playstyle. Playing an MMO without mouse?
Wait, what? How do you play with Zelda mouse? You need to like turn your camera to block on SMO. I feel like there's no way you can be like a right-handed mouse user and use number pad at the same time for your skills. How is, how is that even possible? Maybe that's why you were best playing on SMO. It was just your type of game. Because it allows you to use number pad to play. When you when you hold the mouse with your right hand. I don't know, I thought I was being weird by rebinding C swap to spacebar instead of C. Or that General Morse was weird by doing a pot rotation, which is uh, by pressing the same key with different fingers, depending on which skill he's using. But I don't know, number, number pad and right with your uh, right, when you're right handed, it's kind of a new one to me. No one's no one's at Feather Wolf Caesar, hey. Last time there were two people contesting me here. Last season. Right now I have to hold rotation to myself. I'm pulling them a bit too far though. I think after I'm done here, I actually need to go back to, uh... Or no, I go to Dregan next. I don't need to go back to Valencia. Although I do need to eventually finish up the Basilisk. Do I actually have a Basilisk quest? I don't think I actually have a quest to do Basilisk. I 
I think Bastos was one of the regional quests, maybe. Yeah, this. And also, uh, Centaurus. But they'll do Trigans first after this one. Damn, there's no cancel like that. I'm not sure what the cancel is supposed to be. How much do I need for the next upgrade of Sudden Decap? 30? All right, let's need 200 more mobs. And Defensor Wolves is actually kind of slow, even though they just run towards you. But you can't really go from pack to pack because you have to wait for them to run.
<clears throat> well, let's hope there's more people at Blood Wolves. And, uh, Shurikon. Considering how those are the, uh, treasure piece grind spots. Maybe people will be grinding for pots there. Although now that they added in the pity system, I wonder if most people are already done with their pots at this point. Maybe they can grind a pot for each character. Now for Blood Wolves. Maybe I need to sell some of my items first though. Just to clear up my inventory. Wait, why is my mount dead? What? What the heck? How did he die? I saw teleport. Okay, we have the Guardian Spirit Stone, Pure Forest Breath. I keep forgetting, I need to use 3000 Agris Fever Points. So I can actually progress the Black Spirit Pass. Um, what is this? Great Pouch of Fortune? The heck? When did I get that? All right. Blood Wolves. What are they? Just a housing item. Can you remember how I got some of these stuff? Event Blessing of the Camasov. Technically not that important, but... You actually use it to grind for rare, the rare potions at Blood Wolves. I probably need way more 
two of these two Volo or and Blackstones though. I think I'll finish all the regional quests, and then once I finish the regional quest, I can go back and do another enhancement. Oh, and I also need to finish up the uh, Rift's Echo. Hey Van, are you still here? Because if you're still here, we can do the Rift's Echo. Alright, I see a horse here. I'm gonna go to the no manager though. I usually park my horse there. Hmm, I don't actually see any dots in the minimap though. Well, this guy's a safe game. Never mind, I guess he's not the FK. I guess he's adjusting something because he's not coming down. Adjusting his settings or something. I'll just start my grind, I guess. Hello, I've seen you try Suck Ninja a couple months ago, but looks like I came back to Awakening. Yeah, I did. Um, I don't. I didn't really like how Suck Ninja relied so much on uh, SA trading. Like they, it felt it felt too gear dependent to me. And also, I just didn't really like the playstyle. Um, because not only is it that uh, if your opponent outgears you, you can't really do anything on Sec Ninja because they just kill you through super armor. 
But also that like when I kill people, it feels like I'm just outgearing them. I prefer to actually CC opponents. It's just uh, it, it feels better to kill someone because I outplay them and caught them in a CC and then I combo them to death rather than just like you know spamming skills and then they just die because they didn't have enough defense. It, it just feels like succession ninjas is just too gear dependent for my style, so that's why. But granted, if you play like seasonal server, then, well, gear isn't as much of an issue on season. But I still like the Awakening style more. No, I didn't try it on season. I mean, I fought some Awakening nin uh, Succession Ninjas on season, so it definitely doesn't seem like the gear matters as much on season because everyone has roughly the same gear. But Awakening just feels more like my style. And I really didn't have any uh, an opportunity to try it yet because there's been so many changes to Awakening Ninja that I'm still kind of like exploring all of the new changes for Awakening yet so far. Maybe like when some um, I've seen all the awakening changes they have to offer, and then there's like no new changes, then I might try succession again, but right now there's too much stuff going on for me to revisit succession. Uh-huh. And plus, right now, I'm still trying to, like, catch up in gear so I can actually get pen accessories with, uh, 249 AP so I can go and fight people. So I haven't even really gotten a chance to see all the changes yet in PvP. And unfortunately, there's no one here in the grind spots for me to kill as I gear up. But so I just have to hurry up and get pen sooner. I can fight people at uh, sulfur mines instead. I need 250. And I'll just move to Shurikon. Yeah. 
guess I'm out of MP pots. Oh, I guess I'll upgrade this. I see one person here, actually. Let me go down and see who he is. I actually didn't get to see who he was. <laughs> I I actually wasn't sure what class he even was. That's unfortunate. He might have been along. Looks like he respawned though. Wait, why do I still have a quest here? What is this quest for? Oh, it is a lawn. I was right. What? Fuck. There was a thing blocking my way. Did I see him? What? Wait, why did my crab not go off? I'm confused. I'm not sure why these are still a quest. What do I have a quest here for? Oh, he came back really fast. So that's just the uh, full soup armor, I guess. But it doesn't look like he CCs. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm done here. 
And that lawn, I don't know, he doesn't look like he's too well geared. What is the spell where he cut in from off? Who, the lawn or me? What is the spell we're cutting from off? Ah, uh, for ninja. Are you talking about this one? Or this one? Or this one? No? You have a clip? What, this one? What I use after space? So this one. This one? No? Can you try clipping it? You can you can uh, paste the link if you can clip it, and then I, that way I know which one you're referring to. Oh shit! I'm carrying too much weight. Oh, so it looks like the lawn left, so I'm going to Shurikon now. Lawn's over there, but he's not going in that spot anymore. Oh, can clip from phone. How about this? Um... I can turn. I'll, I'll turn on the skill log. <laughs> oh wait, it doesn't work yet. So I save so. Maybe, uh, maybe you can see the name here when I use it next time. But let me get to Shurikon first. I guess I can put all of this away.
All right. Now you can see my skills here. Oh shit, it's nighttime, isn't it? Fuck, it's nighttime for another four hours in game. I can't grind here. What about combos after rework? I don't know, most of the combos still seem kind of the same. Like, you still do Serpent Ascension, I feel like. Like, I mean, it's the damage is lower, but it's not, like, terrible. Um... There was the one that people do where they like go grab and then they do well I guess you can't grab the mob. But they go grab and then they do like that. Well not that, but it's more like uh they don't they don't do murderous after, they do like sudden decap. God damn, it's harder to it's harder to do it when I'm trying to like actually do it. Like it's easier when I actually when I just like do it in a fight. It's harder when I'm trying to like do it just off of nothing. For some reason. Like some people do that. Off of grab. Um and then like I guess this combo is still kind of the same. Like, I know you can't go from murderous into the sudden decap, but I don't really see the value of it too much. But the rest of the combos still seem pretty standard. Like, you still do murder, you still do blade spin, you still do malice shadow stomp. Flashing light, like, most of them is still the same. Like, I feel like most of these new skills are kind of just... Kind of niche. Like, I feel like they're mostly nice to have, but... I don't feel like they... Drastically change how you play. At least, that's how it feels like so far. But maybe there's something I haven't seen yet, so who knows. You do pre awakening grab, Anko, Malice, Murderous, Serpent, Drastic, Flashing. Yeah, that could work. But I don't know, maybe it's a seasonal thing. Because on seasonal, I, d I don't feel like. really need the DPD buff. Maybe if it was on the main servers, then the DPD buff would be more significant. But then again, on the main server, you probably want to open with flashing light to debuff evasion, so I don't know. But I can't, so I, I can't do Dragon because it's not open. I have to go to... Where else can I go to? The only other place I can go to is Pilaku, Sulfur Mine, Basilisk Den, Centaur, so they're all in Valencia. And I'm too lazy to go all the way right there, there right now. Maybe I'll just do RBF until Shurikon becomes daytime. Am I looking for PvP? I'm still trying to finish up my regional quest. Because I, I only have uh, 242 right now. And this is still dual. This is still dual. I can't get a guaranteed try right now, actually. This off of this. Huh? 
But I'm actually trying to um get armor to pen, get pen uh earring, pen belt, and pen necklace. I have pen rings now though. RBF is also barred. No one's in Castle Ruins, no one's in Garmoth Nest, everyone's doing the new RBF. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I guess I just have to wait here. <laughs> Cause I, I was planning to finish uh Shurikon, and then once Shurikon is done, then I'll be done all the regional quests here. Um then I can move to Valencia. And uh, and then I'll do Centaurus and then go enhance maybe. Holy Forest? I did the regional for Poly Forest, I still need 5,000. But I don't know if I feel like doing 5,000. 5,000 is a lot of mobs. Because there's no one at Poly Forest right now, I was there earlier. I didn't want to just sit there and grind 5,000 mobs by myself. I know, that, that feels kind of boring to me. <laughs> Why am I stuck at low enhancement gear? Cause not a good player, I guess. <laughs> that's that's the only explanation. It's just the reality of it. Oh, it looks like Lencia 1 is open. And also, I didn't play for like... 3 days. During Christmas. So maybe that has something to do with it. But then again, people were way more geared on the first day anyways. Uh, how to use boss slaughter? Well, the way I use it is mainly just like, um, like just kind of like I just kind of like throw it up randomly. Like it's not like I know Yolo, for example, he pretty much spams it on cooldown, but I don't really. Feel like it has that much value to constantly spam it. I kind of just use it, um, like when most of my other movements are on cooldown, but then I have like a CC available if that makes any sense. Oh, it's harder to explain than it is to like show a clip where I use it. But it's not really something that I kind of focus on using. It's more it's more opportunistic. Like I kind of uh, like I kind of just have a sense of um when I feel like it's safe to do a boss slaughter, and I just do it, and then if it if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. It's not like something that's like very timing oriented or anything like that. Also, there's no one in this RPF. It's like, it's like I explained the guy, like, uh, a lot of it is just based around fishing for CCs. You feel, it leaves you defenseless when you use it. Um, yeah, you don't want to use it if, like, both, both your uh, Ghost Step, Ninja Step, and everything is all on cooldown. Like, I kind of use it, and then I will Ghost Step right after. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it if um, I, I wouldn't like go step and then use it. Or maybe I do, but I also have something else available at the time.
But once, if you have like all of your defenses offline, then that wouldn't be a time to use it. It's it's a very aggressive skill, so you kind of want to use it when you have something to follow up with. If it doesn't work. And that's why I don't really recommend spamming it. What? How did I get CC? This new RBF feels so cramped to me, though. What's that? Oh, it's a hash. Yes, he desynced out of that. I still don't have enough damage to kill some of these people. Oh fuck, that's the Nova grab. I can cancel Shadow Stump from hard aiming? Why do I use Ghost Step? Habit for one. <laughs> and, uh, and also, generally, when I'm in large scale, I kind of just always Ghost Step, even if I don't need to. That's kind of like just a habit thing, because it's really hard to like, predict if someone is going to just randomly CC me mid-combo. I also just realized just now I don't have pots. Fuck. I was trying to get pots. Like, that's kind of like a thing in a open world in 1vx. Because at any moment, someone can just randomly throw a CC at me. And by just like constantly shadow stomping, even if like I don't really need to, it makes it way more or less likely that I'll just get randomly CC'd. And I just do that out of habit. Because I know that it doesn't really matter too much if the combo is not optimal. Because the combo is not going to be optimal if I'm dead, so... Like, in large scale, I can't always be just only going for optimal combos. A lot of it is based around survival. I actually don't know why my, combo, my, why my cancel failed there, though. This map seems a lot less optimized. I'm getting huge lag spikes. Literally copy paste Valencia and said, "Here you go, new RBF map." Exactly, but I I don't know this. I don't feel like this map is good for BDO. Is the thing like BDO is such a movement oriented game, whereas this this map is super one dimensional. You barely have anywhere to move at all. Is what I feel like. Also, since when can Musa CC behind him? What? Is that a new thing? You know what? I don't have I don't have exit lag again. That's the problem. That's why that's why I'm just getting randomly CC'd off of uh, super armor. Like Exile like actually makes that big of a difference. That I can I can literally tell if I don't have it on. It really does work. Like if I don't have Exile, like, I just get randomly CC'd mid super armor for no reason.
Like, I know, like, a lot of, for a lot of games, you know, no, it doesn't really work. But for BDO, it definitely works. Like, it's kind of, like, it's really game dependent. Like, for some games, it's probably snake oil, but not for BDO. You don't like using it because it's the game's fault? I mean, it might be the game's fault, but you're the one suffering. It's like driving a car, you know? So would they teach you defensive driving? Like, even if, even if it's, like, their fault for driving badly, if you get into an accident, it's still going to be you, so... I mean, not, no one's forcing you to use it, but... I feel like it makes us such a huge difference to use it. And I can instantly tell if I'm not, if I don't have it on. So why did I get stuck in an invisible wall there? Like there's really not a lot of options to like it's so one it's so linear. Like, can I just go this way? You just have to be like an expert at navigating tight alleyways to play this now? Okay, well apparently that's not the way. Well no, I'm just back here. Like, how, how do I, like, bypass this? Can I, like, bypass this and go to, like, a different point straight away? Like, do I have to just, like, do this? <laughs> like, is that the play? Is that the play? Jump to the roof? Is that gonna be even more rubber band? Bro. Bro, I grabbed him, and then it just didn't work. So now, so now you have to be good at parkour to play BDO, I guess. What is this, Naraka Blade Point? Maybe you should just be playing Naraka Blade Point instead of BDO.
I'm playing that rock at 8 p.m. I don't know. I, I hate... Like, I hate these tight corners, though, because I can barely see what's going on. Like, what, what am I doing? Like, what is he doing? Okay, well, I guess he just got CC'd. I guess that works. Like, I mean, if at least they fixed the camera... Maybe it wouldn't be as bad. I guess I'm now on the roof, but... What's the play here? <laughs> Maybe this is why they buffed that skill. <laughs> Damn. They buffed that skill just for RBF, but I don't have enough damage. Oh my god, I don't have enough damage. I need to zoom in as FPS games. This is the level we're at now. I didn't sign up for this. I signed up to play MMO. I didn't have time to do that. I guess that's just what you need to do now. I just need to be a parkour master to play this game. Oh shit, this is... Oh wait, this is not a dead end. But now how do I go to like... Well, I guess he's here. What? Bro, are you kidding me? That desync. Why am I stuck? What? Well, like, let's say I don't defend one. How easy is it to get to two? Yep, I'm just I'm ch checking out the new RBF with less than ideal gear, but no, now you have to be good at fighting in tight corners, I guess. Like what? Just have to like it, it's just like spamming random skills because wait how what the fuck did he not get cc i guess i need i guess i really need exile lag on 
Because he just desynced out of that. And I couldn't kill him before the Kuno got here. That's why I need to finish gearing up my damage. Just those tiny amounts of damage is kind of the difference between life or death in these 1vx situations. I need to kill my target before another person gets in. Easier to deal with one person than two. Now let's see what happens if I go this way. Yeah, because uh, I'm at four, uh, 242 rather than like 245, so I'm missing like one bracket. Which would have been the difference there. Yeah. Like every, every tiny amount is difference between uh, killing both players versus just both of them killing you. I guess now it's a solo cap. Yep. Yep. Oh wait, this guy's here. Yep. Wait, how did how did he how did he know he needed to defend? Or was he just here coincidentally? What? Or is 5 like their home base? Is 5 like their home base? Like 1 is our home base? One second, I'm going to turn on the exit lag. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, let me go back and try that again with Zigzag like on. What do I think about a ninja awakening with evasion? 
Well, when I played Awakening Ninja on the main server like a while ago, it felt like I didn't have enough accuracy. Like, I couldn't really kill people. That's the main problem. I don't know if that's changed with all the uh, with the new uh, accessories. It might have. But back then, I definitely felt like um, evasion just wasn't good enough. Because like, it's more important that I kill people than it is that I tank. Because as uh, Awakening Ninja, like, I feel like tankiness is kind of like not not really as important compared to other classes. Because with Awakening Ninja, you have so many, you, like, you kind of avoid all damage anyways. Wait, how did he get behind me? What? But like, yeah, like Awakening Ninja, you pretty much kind of uh, avoid damage with your movement, frontal guard and everything. It's not like Succession Ninja. Succession Ninja is more gear dependent because it's so heavy, uh, so SA based. Whereas with Awakening Ninja, it's not so much. So I definitely feel like with uh, Succession Ninja, you probably want evasion, but not so much as Awakening, so. Wait, did he get Yacht CC'd? No, I can't see what's going on. Um, what's going on here? Um, let's see. What is going on? Okay, so I guess I was at what point? Uh, okay, I have a lot of background noise right now. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I have too much background noise right now. Okay, um, you, you were asking because you got Pen, Blackstar, you were playing Succession, so now you're going to wake me without knowing what to do. You're going evasion, um, Ninja Awakening now good for going evasion. Well, I, I can't really comment on that because I haven't really been playing on the main servers. Like... Like back then, I definitely felt like you needed to be a uh, DR because you needed the accuracy from the base. But maybe now with the new accessory, all the accessories uh, with that gives plus accuracy, like maybe if you wear those, then maybe that's enough. But I, I, I'm not really the expert on that, unfortunately. Like I mainly focus on combat uh, rather than like trying to figure out what uh like what amount of dr and evasion and accuracy ratio that you need you're going evasion looking this was c13 uh, yeah, we did get an increase in evasion rate. But I don't know, like... If the... Like, I feel like if the damage loss is too much, then it wouldn't be worth it, even if you're more tanky. Because I feel like the thing about ninja is that you need to kill people.
Like, I feel like Ninja is mainly about being able to kill people, not about being able to tank damage. Because if you're gonna tank damage, then you... Okay, well... Wait, what the heck? Because, like, even right now, when I don't even have full pen armor i'm like 283 dp i feel like right now what i'm lacking is damage not dp like right there if i had the damage to kill the dk then i would have had enough time to turn around and kill the kuno but since the dk didn't die then i got 1v4 and then i lost but it could it could like i don't know maybe, maybe it's just my play style but I definitely personally find more value in killing people than tanking. Because if I can kill people, I can 1vx. If I can just tank, then eventually, like, you're not tanking, you know, four people. No matter what, like, unless you just straight up are gear carried. But then that's no fun. Oh, you got Pen Black Star? Nice. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. What the heck? Playing to C20 now. Damn. Like, I can't one combo these people right now. That's my biggest problem. And also, not being able to see where I'm going doesn't help. I guess I should just keep going to two then. Wait, no, we already have two. I'm, wait, we're red. Damn. So this, okay, so they don't have the thing where it's like they change your color to the uh, correct color based on which team you're on. That was Awakening or Succession? Oh, on, on that gear. And, wait, shouldn't I be? What the hell? So maybe I should actually move around to attack four. Nice.
Alright, so I'm on four now. There was no one here. There's no fall damage in RBF, right? I guess that skill is actually good in RBF, except I don't do damage to that guy. Oh my god. That's actually funny though. What's with the lag? Oh, but there's everyone's here. The heck? How is there? Why is their entire team here? The heck? Why did my grab not work there? Well, if you're going to do an evasion build, I feel like you have to do Kudem, right? I think going evasion build, but then Nuver kind of ruins the whole thing. You opened the snowy winter box and get 500 crown stones. Congrats. Oh my god, this slow. Oh, that worked out better this time. What? What the hell was that CC? I want to lose my chain to DR and Nuver. Oh, do you have to take out your weapon to get teleport to get through the wall? Oh, their entire team is here again. But now there's, there's like so little room to move. I guess I should turn a corner instead. I don't know.
What was I about to say? I was about to say, like, how in BDO, I feel like they kind of, like, randomly just change up whether DR or Evasion is better sometimes. Like, for so long, it's just always been DR was better, and then suddenly Evasion became better. And then suddenly, like, DR was kind of good again. I don't know. It's not a ninja map, it's a team oriented map. What do you mean? There's 22 classes in the game. A team-oriented map is also known as uh, Siege, where every you can just uh, everyone play like Berserker and uh, Succession Wizard or something. Yolo upgraded from GTX 1080 to 3080. But technically, he plays on uh, minimal graphics. He doesn't really need <laughs> CPU upgrade. I, I I don't get why we're, I don't get why we're losing though. We have more people defending objectives. Should I just move to two, maybe? How do I even get to two, actually? Oh, he got, he got to two. But now, now we lost three and four. Like, is there like an optimized sequences of which points you should keep? Looks like someone's at Shurikon. Wait. What? Wasn't this guy at fucking Blood Wolves earlier to CFK? 
Now. What? He just died instantly. Let's see, is our battlefield back? Okay, we're back. Oh shit. Okay, I'll just do that. So how to actually win? I guess I should capture too, because no one's there. I don't really know what I don't really know what the meta strat is. Yo, okay, well, that's a teammate. Well, now we just have every point. What's going on? Not enough damage to kill him. Maybe I should chase him down, though? Oh, well, I guess I just get stuck on the fucking tent. He's going to five, so I probably should stop him. Okay, well, he's just, he was about to SA trade me there. Can I kill him with this, though? No, I don't have enough damage. I didn't have enough damage. Someone else captured five, or did he just capture it that fast? Oh, I guess, I guess that because there's no um, there's no neutral state. In a lot of games with captured points, there's usually a neutral state. It goes from um, opponent control to neutral, and then to your control. But here, it just goes directly back and forth. I guess I should go for a four now. I don't know where they are though. So now we have like four points. Oh, but they got five again. But wait, one person captured just as fast as the whole team capturing it. That 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 doesn't seem right. In these type of games, doesn't it usually go faster when there's more people capturing it? Is this supposed to be like this? Can one person just run around capturing every point? It's just as fast as like the whole team can do it. I don't know what that guardian over there is doing. He just watched his teammate die. to make some changes in it. Yeah, right now it feels like I can just like solo capture every point just as fast as the whole team could. The only thing stopping me is if they have like a bunch of people defending it, I guess.
But there's no way anyone is this organized in like these random games. As soon as what point is captured, people are going to move on to the next point. They're not going to sit there and defend. No one wants to be the guy defending when everyone else is doing the PvP. Uh, I just don't have the damage? What? How was that not enough damage? He had like, his HP was so low, but then Drastic did, no, did nothing. That was too risky. And the lag too. Oof. Next patch, search and destroy. Is that what is that like the um CSGO mode? Where you plan a bomb? <laughs> yep. Oh my god, I didn't see him coming from behind. That was dumb. But he just couldn't follow up somehow. Like a Musa can it just instantly plant a bomb. Let's give it to him. I feel like half of the like. I don't know, maybe like a quarter of the problem with RBF is the fucking cameras. If maybe they fixed the cameras, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. Oh, yeah, I I, for, I didn't upload my gear, but it's uh it's actually in the title anyways. It's like 242 AP. Two, and then, like, I think I just upgraded my things to try, so it's like 283 DP. Do I just attack point one now? Even though this is like their spawn. Oh, I got the SA trade. Wait, but why is no one capturing? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. And solo capture just fine. My gear is OP.
Maybe Ninja is OP. I'm missing like half my accessories. What the heck? He's actually doing 3k damage on one skill. On the seasonal character. Oh, and this is a dead end, of course. Why wouldn't it be? These are all tripping hazards. This Musa is definitely geared, though. He does so much damage and I can't one-combo him. Musa is broken? Wonder how broken he will be after I get full gear though. But look, he's just tried to 1vx and just instantly got rolled. I guess they basically spawn from point one. This should be the hardest point to capture. I guess. Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? Is that. I swear I hit him. What's that shadow stomp? But somehow we captured every point, I guess. Damn, the lawn from behind. I don't know, can I... I don't even... I can't see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to hold the point when I can't see what I'm doing. Maybe some points just aren't meant to be held by ninja because of camera. That's how they nerfed the class. They break our cameras, and that's ninja nerf. I also need to fix smoke screen activating on Brace.
Problem is I can't get down. Okay, never mind, I got down. Okay, well I guess that didn't really matter because he took zero damage. I guess we win now. Because they literally have everyone trying to contest point one rather than back capping. But what happened to the Musas? Did they give up? Why weren't they back happening? Also, I'm surprised there's, they still have the um, RBF modes without camouflage because I thought they nerfed Yulisus already and as you can see the unknown adventure now. So I felt like with that nerf they would have just removed the special modes that removes Yulisus. It's already been addressed. But I will give it to them though. Like I, at least at least they like finally added what everyone's been asking for, like an objective based map. So it only took them like I don't know. When did this game release? 2018? Like four years. I thought it was 2018. Damn. It's way older. It's Be very brave to come here. Oh, we're still in the preparing stage. Oh, now it started. So why is no one here? I thought they said there was nine people in here. Wait, what? I left the zone. I thought the circle sp spanned all the way over here. Well, they captured three. But they're not here anymore. So I guess I just recapture it instantly. <laughs> I can't even go and capture one. Oh, 
How do I... Okay, this way. What? Oh my god. No one capped too. Damn, these early games with no players is just uh, back capping war, I guess. Just running around trying to capture the other points. Alright, now I see people. Except I can't get out. What's going on? These small corridors. Okay. Killed him through his tank skill. What? They captured all of the points. Just like that. Damn, this place is different when there's no one here. I didn't have enough stamina or something because of all the jumping around. What? How did I get CC'd in Katana Shower? Damn, why are we losing all the points? You guys see them blade spin. It's insane desync. What the hell? What do you even see sees me there? We? Oh yeah, we're red. Okay. What? I missed my grab. Is this a spin where it's the slow worse now than last season? 
I felt like last season there weren't this many slows. Oh no. I didn't I wasn't able to kill him so I tried to go for more damage. Then I got CC'd for it. Hard to do shit with all these slows. Because I remember last season they said they uh, nerfed slow stacking. So it felt like the slow wasn't as bad, but then it's now it's like they buffed it back or something, it feels like. Yes, they have the tamer, but he just gets CC'd. Assassinated. So now we just defend point three. This mistake is tanky though. Oops. Almost fucked up there. Nah, where's my damage? He got away. What? <laughs> he did all of that just to get CC'd by Malice. Do I win this? No, I don't. Now I have nowhere to move. I'm just gonna get SA traded if I don't do something about this fast. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, the Valk is here as well. I didn't even know there was a Valk coming. Wait, this guy is Awakening or Succession? He's moving like Succession. Is that the buff that they did to Awakening? Wait, I killed the Archer but not the Wizard with that? How did that work? Mach Explosion still feels like it does no damage though. Did they even buff that skill?
What the hell was that? Just another desync, I guess. Just another desync, I guess. I don't think they buffed Mach Explosion. No, another one came. I thought it was just going to be those two. The first hit of it is good. Where the hell did he go? Is that a V? So let's do the first hit, not the second part. Is that what they buffed? And I feel like the second part is the coolest part, though, you know? The first part of the skill doesn't look like anything. If you want to go for a style point, you have to do the whole thing. They should have buffed the full thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I just got myself CC'd for doing that. The second part does so little damage, it feels like. Now the damage doesn't really match with the visuals. How the hell? Did I press something? I thought it was, I thought it was super armored all the way through, it is. Maybe I pressed something by accident. I guess we're winning this one. Unless I jinx it. See, that damage is just so disappointing. Damn, this guy won't die. What? Surviving off of 1% HP. This is a new tamer strat? Are they full SA when they're riding the pet now? What?
Where's my... Where's my drastic? The hell? Why did drastic not go off? Do we still have points? Or is this just kills now? What's it? What's it called? Show name? Oh, display name. 24 kills. I guess it shows kills now instead. So it's pure objective based now. Points don't matter anymore. I guess that's actually good though. Because the point mechanic was always kind of scuffed. Hmm. I guess let's kill this guy. Okay. The fucking mob blocked my murderous and I attacked into him. But that's just what happens when you have to PvP in the open world. Oh, Always gotta account for mobs blocking your skill. Oh wait, this is the Musa that has no gear. Course. Outplayed by mobs. Oh my god, he tried to take advantage of that, but he was too slow. Oh my god. That was so bad for him. to bed. Alright, thanks for watching, man. Good night. Sleep well. What? I just got CC'd by mob again. I saw him coming, but then I just suddenly got CC'd before he even got to me. So, because I was in a group of mobs. Maybe... Oh fuck, I couldn't assassinate that guy. Bro. I'm gonna just I'm gonna fight these guys instead.
Because I need to eventually uh, do these mobs anyways. And since they're here, I might as well fight them. Did I teleport you? What? Why did they do that skill? What? What kind of input was that? Oh, well, at least I'm a fish. Where are those two guys now? Oh, he's over here. Hello? What? That doesn't make any sense, bro. He actually CC'd me in the middle of Bladespin. Like what?
Just a mistake. Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. Why did that CC me but not her? Why did the mob CC me but not her? What? Uh, he's kind of geared as well. There's the mystic. I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like this. I'm gonna lock back the explosion. It's not doing it for me. I'm just not paying attention at all today. What? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Bro, how does he teleport behind me after I CC him? Causing me to miss the Serpent Ascension. Giving him the chance to wake up grab. Oh my god. What is this game? Like, interactions like that are just so RNG. Like, there's almost nothing you can do to predict that's gonna happen. And I don't have enough damage to kill him. What?
What? I got CC'd by the mob again. What the hell is going on? How did- What? Why did he disappear after getting CC'd? I was- That was so confusing. Bro, what the hell is going on with this game? I was about to follow up and then he disappeared. Like, what? I don't know, I can't, I can't, I have to stop expecting that the game works properly. That's my problem. Like, you know, I've been playing Naraka for so long, where the game actually kind of works okay. But now, not so much, so... I guess I just have to start expecting that the game will be scuffed. That's my problem now. Like, even though Naraka is so notorious for desync on the counter strikes, it's still a miles better than this game. So, like, I have to just stop expecting the game to be working properly.
Like, I, I just get CC'd by the mob again. Oh, come on. Well, at least he also got CC'd, so I guess it's fair. But this is just what you have to expect when it's BDO. Need to stop expecting everything to work properly and just accept it. Be opportunistic instead. By the way, I'm gonna be off after I finish this quest. So this is going to be the last quest for today. Not sure how I fucked up my inputs there, and it did the slow swap. I guess the mob CC'd. Why did he say XD? What? What's the XD for? I don't get it. Oh, you see back. Why did that attack his front? Wait, what? No, no, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was, I was, go I was aiming behind him. How did I get sucked to his front?
Wait, I did so much damage to him that combo somehow. Compared to my other combos. Let's, uh, I'll stick around for a bit just to see if he comes back. But if not, then I will be going off stream for today. Or maybe I'll come back later, I'm not sure. It will depend. instead of him. Okay. So that's going to be it for the stream for now. Um, if I'm back later, then I guess I will ping on the Discord and so we'll receive a folder notification. But for now, I'm going to be off. So thanks everyone for watching and take care, man.